In the week of January 30th to February 4, we only have two aspects, February the 3rd, the Sun with Uranus, and the 4th, Venus with Mars. Because these are both squares, 90 degree angles, it could be a bit of a challenging end of week. I personally don't particularly subscribe to the notion of negative and positive aspects because in the end, it is really our consciousness that determines whether the outcome of a specific planetary influence is more destructive or uh, constructive. To me, squares require just a little bit more effort. They are like the steps of a staircase but the rewards are also all the greater. This end of January, beginning of February, we could feel some frustration, be confronted to anger, experience some relationship tension, and want to impulsively throw everything overboard. But the beauty of astrology is that if we are forewarned, that also makes us forearmed and we can arrest those difficulties before, God has forbid, they grow out of proportion. How? This is what we shall find out here today. Good morning, bonjour, welcome to my channel where I talk about all things astrological. Michel Karen, astrologer, shaman, author of Astrology for Enlightenment, published by Simon & Schuster, New York, as well as the astrologically-based oracle deck, Attuning to the Quantum. I was selected to be the astrologer to the stars at the 78th Academy Awards in Hollywood. On Friday, February the 3rd, the Sun forms a square with Uranus. This can be either a wildly disturbing day or a very exciting day, depending on how flexible, innovative, independent, and adventurous we are. Sudden, unexpected events or obstacles could completely disrupt our plans. We could also realize that a lot of things we thought we always desired all of a sudden feel meaningless. We are likely to be rebellious against anything that is holding us back from expressing our true individuality, and that's always the need for Uranus. The urge to seek new adventures is very strong and it may require that we break old patterns and disrupt routines, especially if they became boring. We may need to reassess quite a few things in our lives, so this could lead to leaving a job that no longer challenges us, freeing ourselves from a smothering relationship, walking away from a toxic friendship, changing an irre irrelevant belief, uh, moving if where we live no longer corresponds to our needs, or adopting a whole new lifestyle. Sometimes this disruption could be forced upon us from the outside. Larger social events completely beyond our control could disturb our comfort zone, testing our strength. There is a sort of revolutionary spirit permeating the atmosphere. Anti-establishment demonstrations are likely to occur. We could completely disregard standard procedures and either feel at odds, even completely alienated from society, or develop a new social consciousness. Within all this turmoil and instability taking off in all directions at once could be tempting, but is not recommended. Weeding out outgrown areas of our life is good only if we are careful to not make sudden decisions. We need to exercise caution. We should resist the temptation to impose our views upon others and avoid being too willful. Erratic actions could make us discard or even destroy hard-earned gains leading to potentially disastrous long-term consequences. 
So yes, we do crave to be different on that day, yet it is important that we find constructive ways to express our originality. We are likely to develop our inventive genius that could be drawn to unusual hobbies. And if we adapt gracefully to the inevitable changes that Uranus always brings and draw upon our ingenuity to handle creatively potentially difficult situations, this transit has an incredibly liberating effect. It is good for releasing outgrown conditions, getting rid of what no longer serves us, meeting new people, trying something we've never done before, and moving towards enriching experiences. This transit, Sun Uranus, has the potential to make us stronger, more self-assured, and much clearer in our consciousness of what makes us unique. On Saturday, February the 4th, Venus squares Mars. This is not a very good day for any kind of social activity or financial transaction. We may lack social grace today. We could be rather tactless. Family relationships could be a little strained. People tend to be hypersensitive and easily irritable. Emotional confrontations are likely. Relationships could be fraught with frustrations, arguments, and disappointments. So not really a lot of fun. And um, definitely impatience, aggressivity, or criticism could prove rather destructive. So this is not the best day for a pleasant date, especially a first date. We could be pursued by someone we are not attracted to, while the person we do like proves distant or blows hot and cold. Our feelings are warm and affectionate. Our sexual drive is intensified, but could be upset by quarrels and capriciousness. Jealousy could be a cause of heated arguments. If we are already in a relationship, it will be important to reach a balance between our needs and desires and those of our partner. And make sure we settle any hostility calmly. To avoid any impulsive breakup we would later regret, we need to do our best to remain diplomatic, yet be very direct with each other, talk with great honesty, and make sure our expectations are not so high that they are impossible to satisfy. Because Venus rules not just love, but also money, today we need to be careful as we may not be super good at managing our funds. Impulsive spending could lead to financial depletion. But on the bright side, our creativity is intensified. Artists could be particularly productive. Dance, music, Dynamic partying as well as competitive sports help us release any pent up emotional tension. If you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, you are most welcome to leave a comment, place a thumbs up and hit that bell to be notified when I upload a new video once a week. Remember as always, choose your battles, Walk in beauty. Thank you for watching. Until next time.